from the IHTN studios, it's Braves Beat. Hello, Indian Hill. I'm Rachel Gerard. And I'm Emma Beck. Happy National Linguini Day. That's not Linguini. It doesn't matter. Do you want some? Sorry, I can't. Gluten. <sighs> Moving on, we've got a lot to cover this week, so let's begin. Can you believe it? This is the 11th year our cross-country team is running a school supply drive for Van Voorhees Elementary School in Fort, Fort Knox, Kentucky. The team has designated the following categories for donated supplies. Seniors, crayons. Juniors, glue sticks. Sophomores, hand sanitizer. Freshmen, colored pencils. And faculty, primary composition notebooks. On Monday, October 16th, 2017, they will travel down to Fort Knox to deliver the supplies collected in this drive. Let's all get behind this effort and start bringing in your donations as soon as possible. Yes, I will. Our school counseling department will be offering a time management group starting in October during MP once a week. Please stop by the school counseling office or email your counselor to sign up. They would also like to give a big thank you to the students who responded to the group survey. Last Friday, our dogmen took on Roger Bacon and came out with the win of 45 to 19. Let's take a look on how it went. Who's your favorite football player? I'm Marco. 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 Tennis and Holmes. <laughs> Marco! Marco! What's your favorite part about the football games? Well, um, I love the security we have here. We got some great security guards on watch, the Rangers, and my boys. You guys, what's good here? It's got to be the naked dogs. What's up? Oh, no buns left. Naked dogs, no buns. Yeah, we got Mr. Whip back there, putting the hard day's work. Let's go, bro! If you're interested in making sure our classroom looks nice, Room Blooms is a brand new club for you to join. The club is aimed at enhancing the classroom environment through the use of plants. Teachers will be able to sign up for a plant in their room that will be completely cared for and maintained by the club. If you have any gently used flower pots and planters, please bring them to Miss Mustard. Sounds awesome. So, Rachel, I heard you had a pretty sick crib. Can we check it out? Sure. Let me show you around. Hey, MTV, welcome to my crib. This is my carpeted area. It's where I like to practice my acrobatic tricks. Check it. I like to come here and do homework and just chill and get in my daily exercise. This is the cafeteria. It's where I like to eat my delicious food. I prefer a good gluten-free sandwich. Next, I'm gonna show you the new exclusive VIP lounge. It's only for important people like myself. Here it is. Cut that out, cut that out. So this is my fine china, super classy, super bougie. Um, I made this one here with my bare hands. This is my basketball court. It's where I like to play that b-ball. This is my closet. I like to find the general necessities. You've got your jean shorts. You've got your black pants. These are my personal favorites. Dresses, Versace, Gucci, no big deal. Wow, that looks pretty familiar, Rachel. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> the damage from Hurricane Harvey is ongoing, and the recovery from Hurricane Irma has just begun. But fortunately, Weed Indian Hill can help out. Student government has placed donation jars in every homeroom classroom and can continue to donate in your homeroom until next Thursday. Remember, the homeroom with the most money by the end of the fundraiser will win a pizza party, so keep donating. Don't forget, next week is Spirit Week and you should be dressing up every day to show your spirit. In case you've forgotten the schedule, here's Kyle McSorley with a very useful report. Starting Monday, wear your coziest pajamas. On Tuesday, dress like your middle school self. Washington Wednesday, make sure you wear red, white, and blue. Theatrical Thursday, basically cosplay. Floral Friday, dress Hawaiian for the homecoming theme of Night in Paradise. The excitement of Spirit Week doesn't end with dressing up. On Thursday, September 21st, all clubs participating in the homecoming parade will be painting their spirit panels from 3 to 6.30. After that, 
Everybody should head down to the auditorium parking lot to watch Moana. There will be Skyline, Corito, and Kona Ice, so make sure to show up. On Friday before the football game against the Blue Devils, don't forget to come out for the homecoming parade. Everyone needs to report to the auditorium parking lot and will be transported to the elementary school. Of course, the homecoming dance will be the next night. Tickets will cost $20 and will be on sale on the 18th through the 22nd only on Easy Pay. The theme is Night in Paradise, so make sure to be tropical. That's all we have for this week. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, like our Bracebeat Facebook page, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. By updates, we mean send us your story ideas, video clips, and photos that we might use on our weekly programs. We need your help. I'm Emma. This is Rachel. And remember, stay classy, Indian Hill. What do you think of the Fort Knox fundraiser? I think what the cross country team does every year um, is amazing. There are always um, families and, and schools that need help, so I think that they consistently go down there and then <laughs> Mr. Atwood, what do you think about the Fort Knox fundraiser? I think the Fort Knox fundraiser is great. Um, I love all the enthusiasm around it. Um, I love that everyone is... What do you think about the Fort Knox Drive? Fort Knox Drive is a, a great opportunity to help uh, some kids out. Mrs. Savage does a great job every year with cross country. With cross country. <laughs> 